guys, BC Lullaby here from AMS Productions, and today in GIMP we'll be making a photo manipulation. Uh, it's going to be an, on, an underwater image uh, with fruits. Uh, it's called Fresh. Um, so I'll have all these uh, stocks in the description below for you to download. But the most important thing is to download the gradient and this underwater image. You can find uh, all these other images on Google. Just type the name and there you go. That's what I did. So go to file new. Uh, the width will be 600 by 800, and click OK. I'm talking really fast uh, because it's pretty long tutorial, so uh, I really want it to be under 10 minutes. Uh, now first, uh, grab your gradient tool, and the gradient we'll be using is the one I made. Uh, it's called Underwater. Oops, uh, where is it? Underwater, and stroke uh, from. Uh, stroke down like this. Now uh, create a new layer on top of this and go to filter, render, clouds, uh, solid noise. And you want a solid noise uh, pretty intense uh, with a lot of black spots. So uh, I'm using this one. The detail is on four, uh, 15. X size of around 5, uh, Y size around 5.5, and just click OK. Now, uh, make a new layer on top of this, and go to your fill bucket tool, and uh, fill this image in with uh, a greenish blue color. I am using 074447, and click OK. Fill it in. Now bring this, the clouded, uh, the solid noise layer on top of it, uh, on top of the uh, blue layer, and set this layer mode on overlay. Now right click on this layer and click merge down, and this new layer will be on dodge. So you'll get this underwater effect. Uh, what you want to do now is add a, apply a layer mask. Uh, just click add on white full opacity. And using your gradient tool, uh, FG to BG, and make sure it's not on radial anymore and it's on linear and stroke down. Uh, I think that's that's okay. And apply layer mask. So uh, this is it for the background. And now uh, what we have to do is open up the uh, underwater image and render it out and put it up here. So I have opened up this image. Uh, make sure it has an alpha channel. So right click on the layer and click add an alpha channel. And now what we're going to do is just scale this image up uh, by pressing control. Um, click enter. And move it towards the top of the image, like about here. Now grab your eraser tool. Um, I'm going to use the fuzzy eraser and just erase um, I'm on here we go uh, erase everything except for this part of the image um, this part and the edges make sure it's soft like this um, now just place it on top of the image like this now we're going to go to uh, layer layer two image size and we're going to blend this out a little bit just sort of blend it out um, like this so you would have a underwater effect um, now grabbing your uh, paintbrush tool and using the color, uh, a pretty light greenish blue color, uh, the HTML notation 66999-2649. And uh, using the paintbrush tool and the brush, I'll be using the Circle Fuzzy brush, uh, 19. And we are going to draw a underwater current. Um, it's going to look something like this so you want to draw it uh, around the top of the image like this and also make sure the opacity is on 10 um, you don't want it 
too heavy. <clears throat> Sorry. So draw something like this. After you have this done, I added a little bit of white on top. And um, what you really want to do is try to uh, get something um, like this where you are going to lower the opacity. We want a narrow strip down here, um, but a pretty big one up here. Uh, so it looks more of a tornado shaped. Um, so just grab your smudge tool and sort of smudge it around. Okay, um, back here, I really don't like this edge right here. So I am going to use the eraser tool and just erase it. I really don't like it. So, um, I don't like this part. Okay, now um, using your pencil brush, uh, the color on white, <clears throat> grab the uh, color of uh, the brush number three, um, the opacity around 50, and just stroke lines like this. And also using the bluish color. Stroke some lines and go to filters, blur, uh, motion blur, uh, blur it by the length of 90, uh, 1 or 90, and angle will be 90 on linear, and click OK. And you should get something like this. Um, I'm going to smudge the bottom a little so it looks more narrow. And using the eraser tool, I am going to erase this part. Now I'll go to filters again, uh, repeat motion blur. Like this. So, um, we're almost done here. Uh, now what we have to do is open up each of these images and render them out. So I went ahead and added the text and all the fruits. I rendered out uh, all of these. Uh, if you don't know how to render out images, uh, you can. I promise you can find one on YouTube. Uh, so the font I used was Adver Gothic. Um, this right here. And the color I used was this greenish blue, 07447, and I put the layer on soft light. And another thing I did was I resized all the uh, fruit images and rotated some of them and added a motion blur. So now I'll show you how to add a motion blur. So you want to duplicate whatever fruit you're doing, and on the bottom layer of the fruit, go to filters, uh, blur, motion blur. I have it right here, so I'm going to just click on it. The angle length will be on 90, and the length will be around 22 uh, or 20. It depends on you. And you want to use your move tool and double click on this image and use your using your arrow keys, uh, bring it down. So it looks like it's falling. Uh, I haven't tried this yet, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to gauge and blur the blur uh, so it looks more natural uh, maybe you can uh, tone the opacity down also so that's it uh, it just depends on how you put the fruits uh, I recommend you to download some more images uh, off of Google uh, since on the original image it has everything in here I actually do have an image like this um, but I just didn't have time to make it today uh, while I'm doing the tutorial. And go ahead, add some bubbles using the paintbrush tool on white and tone the opacity down and you'll get this effect. So I'll have all these stocks in the uh, description and I'll see you guys next time.